about to get on the plane. Well, not yet. Well, hours away from being on the plane. About to get on the plane, not yet. <laughs> Let's go to the lounge. Let's go to the effing lounge. This is the British Airways Terminal 3 lounge. What do you think? Mm -hmm. I like it actually. Yeah. Oh, I prefer, prefer it to the other one. I was just about to say, do you prefer it to the Gatwick? I do prefer it to Gatwick's lounge, yeah. It's much nicer than the other one we went to. I thought the other one was a bit open. It was quite. Yeah. And this one's a little bit sort of. It's hard to explain. The ceilings are much lower and it's just a little bit cosier. Cosier is the word. I think if it was really lavish, then the two ceilings would have worked, but it's not. We're just we're just in England, aren't we? So yeah, we don't we don't do things lavishly. From what? No, we do. Oh no, <laughs> we do do. Have you been to Harrods? That's true. I can't I can't argue with that. I've never been, but apparently it's nice. <laughs> I haven't said on Instagram where we're going yet. No, neither have I. No. People will, all my followers will be wondering, all my followers. <laughs> Phoebe Jenkins thought it not that many. Over 500 now. Which is nice. Thanks everyone. We've got 280 subscribers on YouTube and you're all beautiful. And all of you waiting to push that button. I'll just hug him for a second. Mm. We are getting slightly more confident talking in public whilst everyone is minding their own business. Yeah, we've got it just over a decibel. <laughs> this is louder. <laughs>
<laughs> Jen's never experienced that before. I haven't actually, but I've heard of it. So I wasn't, I wasn't freaked out. I know. <laughs> My dad actually told me about it. It happened to him and he, he shouted out. Really loud, and everyone looked at him. <laughs> That's why I didn't say anything. Because I thought, I oh, know. He <laughs> landed so good. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Czech Republic. Made it. Finally, come on, to get to It's not the most relaxing flight that I've been on. The lady snorted a glass of water on me. Fine. Is she? Yeah, by accident. There was pineapple in my muesli, so I couldn't eat it. And George basically accidentally spilled an entire glass of Coke accidentally. in my bag, in my favourite. It's the Minnie Mouse backpack. Um, and then we didn't land the first time. And then it was really rocky on the way down to the second one. So not my most relaxing flight, but we're here. I've been watching a couple of videos from a YouTube channel um, called Honest Guide, and they do videos on Prague. And they said, under no circumstance should you get a taxi or an Uber into Prague Centre because it costs so much money. And we just got three day public transport tickets for 660... 620. 620 crowns. So I'm gonna find out how much that was. Right now, I am still trying to find out how much it costs. So it costs 21 pounds for three days of public transport for two of us. So cheap. So it was like a tenner for three days. Think how much it costs for like two trips on the London Underground. This is unlimited. Buses and metro. And trams. Yeah, and trams. Wow. Yay! My hair is up now. So it's mine. I had a massive headache on the plane. And I sort of had one nose and blew out and it released the pressure and I was fine. The end. I'm not gonna lie, that looks yummy. McDonald's! Hey, lady, lady, but. It's really beautiful. I really, really love it here. It's good to uh, get off the tram. So hot. <laughs> Save the baby's head. Aren't you lovely? Yeah. Oh, we're staying there. Nice. Go for it. My pants. <laughs> oh, look at this. This is amazing. Hello. That's cool. Look, what to visit in Prague. Nearly at the top. Ooh, I love this. Oh, it's so beautiful. That's pretty. Chair. Is that? Sit on it. It's 20 last blah. <laughs> Man's back. Oh my god, there's no bounce. Oh no! Literally nothing. <laughs> It looks so comfy. Oh, it is. Okay, I want to go. Oh, it is comfy. No. I want to go. Oh, oh my god, that is really nice. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Call me. Number one, 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 one. Zero, 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 one. Zero, 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 one, one. The big question is. Who gets to be Batman and who gets to sleep on the side of Anonymous slash Viva Vendetta? I'm Batman. Me, right? Yeah, you. <laughs>
Mama loves you from head to toe. So it smells like. Oh yeah. Oh, is that nice? Is that oh, nice? Yeah, let's smell it. It reminds me of the smell of Iceland. The country. That's appropriate. Mama wants to cream you up. No, thank you. Mama likes to keep it pure. Am I pretty now, Mama? Am I pretty now, Mama? First impressions of the Mama Shelter is that it's absolutely perfect. I love it. It's really, really quirky. Downstairs have got a really cool looking bar and restaurant and there's places you can sit and read. There's books you can read. They've got merch as well, which I may purchase some. The room is just the right size. TV has loads of free movies, so if you want a night in, you can watch movies. The bed is big, it's comfortable. It's got a really gorgeous view. The lighting is cool. We've got superhero masks to play with, if we wish. What I like also is that within the free movies that are on the TV, they have adult movies and gay adult movies. Yay, great for everyone. George is enjoying the shower. Oh, yeah. I'm being summoned. It does look amazing. I ordered iced tea, and normally it's either lemon or peach. This is like chamomile tea. I'm going to leave the rest of it. He doesn't realise that we're abroad, so it's costing him more money. Yeah, we've already seen a Tesco Express in Prague. Like an actual test, and we and we saw Lidl in Malaga. It's like we've never left. I like to read, sitting upright with no back support. Proper Disney. DM me. I'm down with the kids. I can literally play this right now. <laughs> I'm just going for a wonder. And I'm like, oh, I don't know what's up here. Like, oh, I, don't, I don't know, it doesn't look like there's very much going on there. Oh, well, you we never know, there might be something there. And we just walked up these stairs and it looked like a little park. Mm -hmm. There were two people just smoking crack. So we've decided to go into the city centre. Yeah, great for the best. What do you think they're saying to each other? They're saying, look at these pair of idiots filming everything. <laughs> They've had an argument, haven't they? Oh, they definitely have. Definitely had an argument. They are not. On. I am not apologising to you. They are not on cheaping terms. <laughs> They've melted. <laughs> well, that has been not so much. <laughs> Aside from pigeons. Yeah. I just realised that I was videoing a side of their bums. That's not the front of that monument, that is the horse's bottom. Wow. <laughs> I didn't even notice. So this woman on the train just like elbowed me in the head and it's so hard that messed my hair up. The monument we've just been admiring over is actually the, <laughs> the monument of St. Vincent's. So we've just been checking out his butt. <laughs> What's well, not the horse? I oh, know, and his butt, and his butt. Oh, right. well, it's all of his butt. So oh, it's... I was too busy looking at the horse. That's better. Beautiful flower. Bees? <laughs> they're kind of grey. Oh, they look really orange here, but they're not, they're grey. Oh my god, Jesus Christ. 
So earlier we saw what supermarket? Tesco Express. And now we found Marks and Spencer. <laughs> we could just we could just live here. Oh, hello, close up. There you are. Hello. Is it nice? Yeah. Oh, what? I feel really sorry for that guy. He jumped out of his skin because of that stupid. So there you go. You're expecting there to be lots of stag dudes, and I think we've just found our first one. Have they got their shirts off? Yes. Were they doing things to annoy the locals? Yes. Are they burnt? Yes. Are they burnt? <laughs> yes. So this is a fundraising and awareness campaign that's supporting people with special needs. It's been going since 2000 and they've got 216,000 painted bricks here and each brick represents someone who has donated towards supporting them and they've been able to support 35 facilities where these people can live, work and relax. It's brilliant. Oh, there's a bee there. Oh, looks like it's having a rough time. Oh, okay. Maybe we'll do one. Tell you what, that needs a bit of a jet wash. This is the city gate that was built in the 15th century. Uh, it was restored after it was damaged in the Battle of Prague. But this used to be the city gate to Prague. You just seen one of those uh, like wildling horns. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's this little cabin and it's just so chilled. It's playing hip hop music, a little coffee shop, and it's just so nice. We're sitting here in these deck chairs, just totally chilling out with our ice lattes, and it's just really nice. And it, the weather's still lovely as well. So we're back home now. Thus ends day one, but hopefully we've got a really, really nice um, time lapse. That's what that's what time lapse we a it. nice time lapse that we've been doing for about two hours, three hours. Yeah, like oh, longer than that because we've been out since about half past four. So hopefully we'll have a really, really nice time lapse of the sunset. Yeah, don't touch the thing because it's beyond it. Okay, I, I won't move. So anyway, that wraps up day one. Yeah. See you tomorrow. Bye.